Blue Gem Media is a platform where the word of God is being preached on a new day. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 says, Since God in his wisdom sought to hear that the world would never know him through human wisdom, he has used our foolish preaching to save those who believe. For more inquiry, you can send an email to Love Samson Grace at Solo.com. God bless you. Hello everyone. You're welcome once again to this channel where the word of God is being preached on the elite. And by the grace of God, uh, we'll be talking about a very important topic today. I might be wondering why do I have, why am I seeing all of this? This are part of what we're going to use for our illustration today. And my prayer is that the Holy Spirit will help us to understand. The Holy Spirit will help you to understand everything that I am going to explain today. Before we start, I want us to pray because I'm not the initiator of the idea. There's somebody behind it, which is the Holy Spirit. And I want us to pray so that he can help us. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, I want to say thank you for this moment. Thank you so much for the inspiration. Thank you for grace. Thank you for helping me at every time to bring the word. Lord, be exalted in Jesus' name. No man can explain the word except you define or you explain it to the person or you open his or her mind. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for opening my mind. Thank you for teaching me at every point in time. Thank you for helping me to come here again to teach your word. Father, be exalted in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, take charge. Jesus, take all the glory. God the Father, take all the glory. And at the end of it, Father, I return all the glory to you. Father, be exalted. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. You are welcome and I'm very, very excited. Today I'll be talking about a topic called and help fit for him and help or an helper fit for him. That's the topic for today. I will take our reading from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. So I will stop there for now while I introduce all of my illustrations to you. So here we have the drill. We have different types of drill here. So this is a drill. And in this teaching today, this drill is going to represent a man. Hallelujah. So as you can see, the drill is kind of incomplete. And we have, this is the battery. And that represents a woman. Then we have the charger. That represents the Holy Spirit. And we have this plug that represents Jesus. And we have this socket that represents God the Father. Hallelujah. So all these other drills are just different examples of men. When we get there, I will explain further. Hallelujah. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 said, Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. If you note that verse, it said, Let us make man. He didn't say let us make men. He said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them. The Bible says let us make man and he said let them. That means man is incomplete by himself. Hallelujah. That means a man figure is not complete by himself. That's why the Bible says let us make man. Then he further explained and said let them have dominion. So note, the first lesson is, man, you as a male, you are incomplete by yourself. Hallelujah. So what completes you? Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 said, Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. This man is a man. Everything that he needs to be a man has been built into it. But it's not complete. Hallelujah. It's not functional. Like I'm pressing the trigger, but it's not working because it is not functional. Hallelujah. Then the Lord God said, it is no good that this man should just be like this. I have built a lot of things in him. I have potentials that are put inside of him. I have a lot of things that I want him to accomplish. But... He is alone and it is no good that he should be alone. Then God said, I will make a helper that is fit for him. Hallelujah. I will make a helper that is fit for him. So the man gave name to all the livestock. That's Genesis chapter 2 verse 20. 
The man gave names to all the livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper for him. This man, Adam, was put in the midst of uh, the animals. In short, he named them. Hallelujah. He named all the animals. And, you know, while the chimpanzee is there, the gorilla is there, the snake is there, the lion is there, and all those animals are there, God did not still find a helper that was fit to complete this man. Hallelujah. So, animal is not a complete part of a man. Maybe you are thinking that, oh, I don't want to get married. I will just maybe have a dog in the house as a companion. That is not the plan of the creator. It's not the plan of God for your life. An animal cannot complete a man. Genesis chapter 2 verse 21. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept, took one of the ribs and closed up its place with the flesh. Hallelujah. So God got to man. And he made him to sleep and he picked a rib, hallelujah, from his side. And verse 22 says, and the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to him. So God picked a rib from the man. And when he picked that rib, he made it into this, hallelujah. This is the complete path of the man. This is the woman. Hallelujah. He brought the woman to the man. And when he brought the woman to the man, what happened? He made him a complete man. This is the complete drill. This is the complete man. And the difference between what he was before and what he is now is that he has power. A man is complete. But the way God has made him, he made him a complete being in two different cases. This is the man, uh, sorry, it's kind of difficult to bring out. This is the man, this is the woman. A man is not functional without the woman. Hallelujah. The woman is the battery. The woman is the powerhouse of a man. The earlier you get it as a man, the, the better your life. Hallelujah. You cannot function as a man by yourself. You are powerless by yourself. The way God created you, he put all of the potentials in you, but there is nothing to power it. And that is why he said, it is not good that you should be alone. I will make a helper that is fit for you. Now, when we talk about a helper that is fit for you, this is another example of a man. This man, this is his own helper. Sorry. One second, please. This is his own helper. When the Bible says that I will make a helper that is fit for him, this helper cannot fit into this man. As you can see, he's a helper, but he's not the one that is fit for this man. There is a helper that is fit for every man. Not every woman is made for every man. This helper is fit for this man. So when I put the battery like this, which is the wife, in it, it can power it. Because this is a helper that God has created to fit into this man. Any other helper will not. To emphasize that again, this is another man. Hallelujah. And this is the helper. Without this helper, this man is incomplete. This man cannot function without this helper. And this helper cannot fit into this one. This helper cannot fit into this man. This woman cannot fit into this man. But when you take the right woman with the right man, when you allow the Holy Spirit or God to choose for you, when you allow God to choose who the woman you are supposed to marry, then the woman comes to you and completes you. And the moment it completes you, then you are functional. Then you can perform the duties that which God has sent you into this world. You can fulfill purpose without struggle. You can fulfill purpose without stress. Hallelujah. So, let's continue. The woman is the battery. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. It says that I will make him a helper. 
that is fit for him. An animal is not the helper that is fit for you. Because the Bible records it that after Adam had named all the animals, there was not an helper that was found for him out of all of the animals. There is a woman which is the battery house, which is the power that is meant to help you to fulfill all the purpose that you're supposed to fulfill. Hallelujah. Listen, man, when God wants to create, wanted to create you, he did not create you as a full package. I think I've said that before. He didn't create you. You can't stand by yourself the way he made you. He made you a functional person, but in a two package. This is the woman and this is the man. When the woman decides to go by herself, she's useless by herself. This battery is useless by itself. What am I supposed to use this battery for if it's not connected to something, connected to the right thing? Hallelujah. A woman by herself that says I can make it through life by myself. I don't need any man. I can be by myself. It's useless by herself. A man that says that I don't need that woman or you trample on your wife or you disdain your wife or you look down on your wife. You are, you are, you are not functional by yourself. Because your powerhouse, God has put the power in the life of a woman. What if uh, when somebody now says, oh, I don't feel like, I think I just want to uh, be with a woman. I don't want to be with a man. Imagine what use will this and this be. How do you want to fix them? How do you want to connect them? Well, maybe you're doing surgery and you're trying to like fit these two people don't have a connection. They are both powerhouse and they need a drill head, which is the husband, to connect to, to be able to know how powerful they are. So if you decide not to get married and you decide to stay with a woman, no, the world will not see how powerful God has made you because God has made you as a woman very powerful. The world will not know how powerful you are because you need to connect with your right man hallelujah for the world to see the power that god has built inside of you what if i am a man and i decide to go with another man how do i connect you know i'm trying to take another man and connect him he doesn't have power by himself because they are both just a man a man and a man cannot be functional a man and a man cannot fulfill purpose. Why? Because the, at the beginning, God did not make it like that. Or you can say, I will just try my best and fit the man here. In the purpose and process at which you are trying to fit another man into your life, you are destroying the other man. It might look like you're telling him, oh, I love you. I love you so much. That man doesn't love you. He's trying to fit you into his life by making you a woman, but he doesn't know you, are, you don't have power. Hallelujah. The way God has created you, he didn't create the power in you. He only created some things in you that needs to be powered. So a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, from the beginning when God made them, he didn't make them to be together. But rather, he made a man, and he made a help that is fit. Not just anyhow girl from anywhere, because she has good features because she can speak english because she's she teaches the word very well is not your wife once he's not your wife he cannot fit into you he cannot help you because that is not the man that that is not the woman that god has created to be your helpmate and i will make for him and help that is suitable for him when you get a help that is suitable for you what happens the woman is able to connect whether she's beautiful, whether she's not beautiful, I think you should do look at beauty first. What you should look at is, is she connected? How can she connect with your dream? How can she help you to power your dream? How can she help you to get to where you are going to? Or is she the one that is going to pull you down? If it's not your wife, it's not your wife. And it's only the Holy Spirit that can lead you. Or it's only God that can bring that woman your way. So when he brings that woman your way, be humble enough. Hallelujah, because she's the one that God has sent to power your dream. Hallelujah. So let's continue. So the woman is the battery house. Like I said, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, I will make him an help that is fit for him. That's a helper. But 
um, as powerful as a woman is, like if you look at it, as powerful as this woman is, this woman cannot bear the burden of a man forever without charging. A woman has been made as the powerhouse. When you check men of God that have ministries, when you have men of God that, you know, they have a church and they are well connected with their wife, they kind of make a lot of, a lot of progress. But the moment you see a man of God that has allowed divorce in his family or tramples upon his wife or, you know, disdains his wife or relegates his wife, people like that don't go far. Hallelujah. Because the woman is the powerhouse. But this powerhouse cannot carry the body of this man forever without charging. This man is tiring. Men by themselves, they are demanding. They are, there was a time one of my uh, friends, she just got married then, and she was telling me that, did you know what happened? The first time I was to like maybe have an intercourse with my husband, and you know it was very very difficult it was hard it was painful you know the other time when he had for it i had to go to the bathroom. i just told him i want to go and clean myself up and when she got to the bathroom she was like she was praying that god please help me god please help me and meanwhile the man is waiting in the bedroom excited that he wants to have intercourse with his wife why because men the way god has made them they are, can be so tiring to a woman they can sap energy from a woman they are demanding. Some of them are demanding. They demand a lot because a woman is the powerhouse. So a woman cannot function by herself for a long time if she's not connected to the charger. Hallelujah. Any woman that is depending on her strength, any woman that is depending on the power that she has and is not connected to the charger, before you know what is going on, she's tired. She's filing for a divorce. Before you know what is going on, she's tired. She does. Not, she cannot continue anymore. Before you know what she's what is going on, she's already complaining and she's already not interested in that relationship anymore. Because the way God made a woman, God made a woman to be able to charge, and you need to charge with the right charger. Hallelujah. And now, what is the charger? The charger is the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit. Note, there is no Holy Spirit outside Jesus. This is the Holy Spirit. That is the right charger. If you note, now, look at the way this is. It doesn't have a light. This is the Holy Spirit. This is Jesus. This is the Father. The Holy Spirit seems powerless when you don't engage him. Like, if you look at the way this is, when I connect this battery to it, then you start seeing light that is blinking. There's a green light here if you see it. But when it is not engaged, there is no light. Hallelujah. So now, if you have, like we have the Holy Spirit, the Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 26, John chapter 14, verse 26, he said, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, that's Jesus Christ talking, he said, he will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I have told you. The Holy Spirit is the reminder. The Holy Spirit is the strengthener. Woman, listen, when you are tired, you are feeling so knocked out. You are feeling tired of that marriage. You are feeling tired of that man. You are feeling tired of the everything. The children are demanding. The husband is demanding. You have to go for a job. And everything seems like you are tired. Don't forget about the Holy Spirit. Because it's the Holy Spirit that will strengthen you. It might look like the Holy Spirit is powerless. When you don't engage the Holy Spirit, you don't see how powerful he is. But when this woman who is tired and weak connects to the holy spirit then the holy spirit begins to walk so you as a woman don't be ashamed don't be afraid don't feel too powerful that you said oh because i am the powerhouse of my family i can do it by myself you cannot do it by yourself a woman that thinks that she can do it by herself is a woman that over time 
when she uses all her energy, uses all her wisdom and everything, what does she become? She becomes a dead. You see, the battery is blinking because the woman is dead. She becomes a dead woman. Now, it seems like a light is coming from here. It's not even coming anymore. But this is supposed to be a powerful woman. A woman that wants to stand by herself. A woman that wants to operate at home outside the Holy Spirit, outside Jesus, is a woman that at the end of the day becomes irrelevant in her family. Is a woman that at the end of the day becomes useless to her husband because now she cannot produce any power anymore. And that's why I will please advise men. Are you a man? This is your powerhouse. That is your wife. Don't forget to pray for her. Because she's the one powering your life. She's the one powering your ministry. She's the one that God has used or God has impacted or God has filled to be the power that is supposed to power you. Don't trample on her. Why don't you pray for her? Because in the process of praying for her, that means you are connecting her to the Holy Spirit. It is easier for her to connect to the Holy Spirit. And when she connects to the Holy Spirit, she gets charged. And when she gets charged, she comes to you as a man. And she connects with you and she powers you. That is the only time you can be functional. Like I said, the Holy Spirit is not by himself. The Holy Spirit reminds you of Jesus. There is no Holy Spirit without Jesus. There is no discharger. Is nothing without this. This is Jesus. This is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. There is no Holy Spirit anywhere. If anybody is trying to introduce the Holy Spirit to you without Jesus, it's fake. And there is no Jesus without the Father. The socket here, which is the powerhouse, is God the Father. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, he said, come unto me, all you who are labor and are heavy lady. Come unto me, all you who labor and are forced to bear burdens. Come unto me, all you who are labor and are weary. He said, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, all you dead batteries. Come. This battery was not working. It's dead. It's tired. I want to show you again. This battery is tired, it's dead. It's supposed to be performing a function here, but it cannot because it's dead. And Jesus Christ said, come unto me. And this is Jesus, this is the Holy Spirit. You get charged by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit introduced you to Jesus. Come unto me, all you are labor and a heavy lady, and I will give you rest. And you come to Jesus. You come to the Holy Spirit, he introduced you to Jesus. You see, the light comes on. And it charges you. And before you know what is going on, you are functional. We'll try that before the end of the uh, of this teaching. Hallelujah. So the socket is God. John chapter 6 verse 30. John chapter 6 verse 30. Say, I can do nothing on my own. This socket is saying I can do this um, uh, plug. It's saying I can do nothing on my own. If I disconnect this, then the Holy Spirit does not have a power anymore. So there is no Holy Spirit without Jesus. And there is no Jesus without God. Hallelujah. So this is God who is the author and the finisher of everything. He's the one that has the power. He's the one that has everything. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Hallelujah. So this is God the Father who empowers Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is the one that introduces Jesus to the woman who is the powerhouse so that he is able to power his her husband. Hallelujah. Please, men, if you are not married, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus, don't marry the wrong woman. Because the moment you marry the wrong woman, this is what happens. You are not able to connect with that woman. And the moment you are not able to connect with that woman, there is no how your destiny is going to be powered. Now, let's check this. This has been connected to the Holy Spirit. We have connected this to the Holy Spirit for a while. 
let's see whether it can be functional hallelujah i've been connected it look at it he was dead before now because it has connected this woman has connected with the holy spirit it is easy for her to power her husband now it is alive hallelujah so the more you get connected the more of it just has one church here one light the more you get connected the more you have power as a woman never depend look at this one it has a full charge hallelujah because it's totally connected with the holy spirit i am going to close with this are you a woman never forget to connect with the holy spirit never forget to allow jesus to be the head of the family never forget to allow god in your home because you by yourself, you can't do it. You're just like that dead battery. You can't do it by yourself. A day will come that you will run out of power. A day will come that you will run out of wisdom. A day will come that you will run out of strength because man is a tiring being. Hallelujah. But God said it is no good for a man to be alone. And you, are you a man? I know I'm a little girl, but God might be using my mouth or using me to tell you what you're supposed to do. Don't look down on your wife. Don't trample on her outside. You are trampling on your engine house. Don't put her behind. Don't just relegate her. Don't just treat her like a property or like a slave. Why? Because she's your powerhouse. Without her, you can't go far. Without her, you can't fulfill purpose. Because when God made you, he made you an incomplete being. And it puts the other part of you that makes you a complete being in a woman, which is the powerhouse. My prayer is that God will help you as a man. God will help you as a woman. God will help all of us so that we can understand what God did and why he did it like that. The moment you can connect with your wife as a woman, the moment you can connect with her, you realize that your ministry will be doing great. You realize that your career will be doing fine because she's the one that God has put some things inside of her to power you. I will give an example of uh, this uh, wonderful gospel singer, Bukala Bekis. She's the one that holds the mic. Is the husband that plays the saxophone. If the husband says that, no, I want to be the one to hold the mic and play the saxophone by myself, that man will not go far. But you see the way both of them are working together. The husband plays the saxophone. The woman plays this, the, sings the song, and they are doing excellently fine. Hallelujah. Look at Pastor Adeboye and his wife also. Pastor Adeboye does most of the time, he does praying. And mommy does, he, she looks over every other thing and makes sure it is fine. If Pastor Adeboye says that, or that the Adeboye says that, no, I want to be the one doing everything, he won't be able to go far. God has positioned a man to perform a duty. God has positioned a woman to perform a duty. If you are a man, allow your woman perform her own duty. Because when you help her, and you allow her to perform the duty that God has sent her or God has equipped her to, then you can go far. Then you can fulfill purpose. Then the whole world will recognize you because you will be fulfilling the purpose at which God has sent you to this world. And if you're a single person, I pray for you. The grace to meet the right woman. That woman might not be attractive. I was not fine when I was younger. The woman might not be attractive. But that is the woman. That is the powerhouse. That is the woman that God has provided. Or God has equipped to power you to get to your destination. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, I want to say thank you for this moment. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you because you are God and you are good. Thank you for this inspiration. Thank you because you have ministered to every of my viewers. Lord, I ask, oh God, that the grace to do the right thing, Father, give it unto us in Jesus' name. Father, help the man to help the woman. Help the woman to help the man. In the mighty name of Jesus, is there any family that is going through stress? I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will help the woman. The Holy Spirit will strengthen the man. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be peace. Peace will reign in that home. In the name of Jesus. And is there any family that is heading towards a divorce? Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will 
come into the scene. You will help them in the name of Jesus. I destroy every spirit and every power of divorce in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the beginning, when God made it, he made them male and female. The grace to live together united, the grace to understand your wife and understand your husband, the Lord will give it unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we bless your name. Father, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Quickly, before I close this broadcast, if you have not given your life to Christ, how do you want to connect with all these things I've explained to you? If you have not given your life to Christ, as a woman, there is no how you can recharge if you don't have Jesus in your life. As a man, there is no how you can connect to your own wife. That's the right woman that God has destined to power you if you don't know Jesus. Jesus coming into your life makes a lot of difference. And if you have not accepted Christ as, part, as your Lord and personal Savior, I will advise you to please surrender. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict you of every of your sins. And the Holy Spirit will help you to accept Christ. If you want to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you can drop a comment be below and I will get through to you and pray with you. I would love to welcome you into the family of Jesus because in this family, we are champions. In this family, we are happy people. In this family, we are people that circumstances don't just come to us and overcome us. In this family, we are victorious people. God bless you. I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Somebody might need to hear about this video. God bless you as you do that. Amen.